The Jeff Keynes Collective is a group of young people aged between 14 and 24. We've been involved with making free events around the Jeff Keynes work. Um, Jeff Koons is an American contemporary artist. Um, a lot of his work is quite big. Um, he comes up with the ideas, but he doesn't technically make any of it. He employs other people to make it and checks on it every now and then, and then puts his name on it. <laughs> um, I don't really... I, I, I like that, but... I like that about Jeff Koons, but then... I think I kind of like his artwork more than I got him as a person. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, well, we um, are organising three events with the help of other people. Yep. Yeah. And they are called the Jeff Koons Garden of Eden, which was on the 1st of July. June. 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 <laughs> 1st of June. Um, and that's in the art room in Brighton Home Museum. And that's like balloons and gummy bear sculptures. Yes. You get free gummy bears. That means you have to come along now. Um, and the so second one is the play late. Is, yeah, play late on the twentieth of June. Yes. Yeah. Um, There's and gonna be games and jelly, and jelly and ice cream. Yeah. And talks about fears. <laughs> yeah, childhood fears. Yeah. The third one is on the thirteenth of July, and it's called the Jeff Koons Pop Up Event. Event. Yeah. Jeff Koons Pop Up Event, <laughs> and that's a flash mob. So to start with, with the um, Garden of Eden event, we kind of knew that we wanted to um, have a garden with balloons, um, balloon art, um, gummy bears. Um, so we met up with a balloon artist and um, she taught us some of the basics of kind of making balloon art. Um, she taught us poodles and flowers, mm -hmm. things that we were going to eat use in the um, Garden of Eden event <clears throat> and then we started thinking more about the um, sculptures that we were going to make tomorrow mm. um, and we met Shaz, yeah. um, an artist from Same Sky and um, she'd made um, art with sweets before so we just sort of explored the possibilities um, of what the sculptures could be made from um, and how they would be constructed. We then went on and kind of, she helped us to get kind of the materials, um, and get hold of all the things we needed, and then helped us to make three different main. Yeah, we made the caterpillar, the heart, and the rainbow, rainbow. and the teddy bear. Teddy bear, oh. yeah, out of willow and gummy bears. And that took a whole day. Yeah to make a long time, really. Longer than you think when you see them. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we kind of bought some extra bits, didn't we? Was that mm. you or something? I think no, Shaz bought them. bought them, we painted yeah. her. She bought some gnomes and squirrels, oh, garden yeah. things and point. stuff like that um, to decorate the art room with to make it into mm. the Garden of Eden. And then on the morning we got in early and um, put fabric everywhere, <laughs> bean bags as well. Nice and lights um, and dim the lights yeah. down, blacked out the whole room. So it was just the kind of nighttime sort of utopia. Yeah. And um, we invited people, didn't we, to come along, yeah. but um, it was quite a sunny day. So there weren't actually even that many people mm. in the museum. Yeah. Um, but I think the people who did come really enjoyed it and um, I definitely enjoyed it. It was I good day. It, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well the Play Late was our chance to programme one of the museum's regular late events. Um, to start with, we sat down and came up with like a list of ideas of things and activities that we wanted to do and see if they would work. Um, we bet. Yes. Um, we met Ellie Newland, who um, organises the late events, and um, she basically we met her on various occasions and sat with her and um, went for a list of things that we would <laughs> well, like. We discussed yeah, we what discussed. we wanted to happen and how practical it was, and whether there was money in the budget for it. 
Um, yeah. And um, <laughs> and we had um, various activities going on the late event, like um, bedtime stories. There were bedtime stories. There were jelly moulds. There was jelly and ice cream. Jelly and ice cream, not just jelly moulds on our own. <laughs> um, at one point, when we were discussing what food we wanted, we wanted to have food that wasn't quite as it seemed. So, kind of cakes that looked like jacket potatoes and things. Yeah. But then we realised it would be really expensive to get those made and really kind of awkward to organise making them and storing them ourselves. So we kind of scrapped the idea. Um, we were also going to do uh, icing gingerbread men, but then we realised that it would be really messy in the gallery. So we decided against that one. Uh, we also decided that we were going to have talks um, and then we decided that they should be on kind of phobias because some of the work is a little bit scary and a little bit sinister. So um, we contacted a, a psychologist um, who we met, I think, three times <laughs> Just before <three> times. <laughs> the play late. Um, and the first time we kind of introduced her to the project and what we were doing and what the play late was. Um, and then the second time she kind of asked us what um, she wanted us to talk, what we wanted her to talk about. Um, and then the final time she met us for lunch and said, oh, here's, here's my ideas for what I want to talk about. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to change, or uh, is there anything you'd want me to talk more about? Um, and yeah, they went really well. They were very popular. But I think what we could have done more with the late event is space the activities out more. I, I think there was space out enough. Because I think no, they were signposted a bit better because I had trouble finding some of them, and I knew where they were meant to be. Because people didn't have enough time to go to all of them because they were like so close together with their timing. But apart from that, I really liked it. Don't know about everyone else, but... <laughs> we also got to play the card game, which was originally designed um, to be merchandise. And then we all decided that due to the cost of it and the way that it works, um, being that you have to be in like a pair or more, that it would work better as an activity at one of the events. So we decided that it would go best with the late event. Um, and we, the three of us, we got together and we designed, well one of us designed the images to go on the cards. I wrote the text for the cards. And Samantha and did, Samantha, the um, did all the graphic designing and all, Ooh, <laughs> and all the designs for like the back of the card <clears throat> and making sure our logo was on it. Um, and yeah, it was interesting to see how much work had to go into making something like that because before I would have thought it would be really easy and then it wasn't. I thought it was going to be like easy thing to do but then it turned out to it be was, like a... It was a lot more work yeah. than we realised but it was worth it. Well we had a massive lead up and I can't remember how many sessions it was. We probably had about five to ten like three hour long sessions and yeah. like, preparing for it. It was quite a lot. But no, nothing else. Yeah, because we started off with the onesie idea for merchandise, wasn't it? And then yeah. we started to think... And then we weren't allowed to make the onesies of merchandise, we made them for our event costumes. <laughs> yeah, because I think the onesies sort of led us into thinking about doing a flash mob at first. And like our starting point. Our initial ideas is that we were like going to strip off and do like a heart of shake, but that didn't happen. <laughs> no. Um, um, we did a lot of preparation for the Rosaria. Yeah, learning the dance routines. Um, and she was amazing, because none of us knew how to dance. <laughs> no, I mean, we all did really well in the end, because we all managed to sort of learn it and be in time, sort of, when I none know. of us could really dance before. <laughs> Except I was so hot, I couldn't, like, think. No. So I'm not quite sure what was happening. <laughs> no, I don't really remember it, but there was a lot of, sort of, preparation, learning mm -hmm. all the routines and, um... You know, we sort of had to do a lot of um, promoting on the day, didn't we? Yeah. Try and get people, which was more difficult than we thought. Yeah, actually. it was difficult to get people to the workshop before the flash mob. Mm. 
But once we actually started like dancing, everyone loved it. Yeah, we got a lot of people come through the galleries with us and follow us, which was yeah. I think was it was really satisfying. Yeah, because you know from trying to find people to do the workshop, there wasn't really that yeah. many people that wanted to do it. So we were sort of a bit like, well, people actually follow us, and they did. And I think that's the basic thing. It's like I'd never have imagined myself doing a flash mob like six months ago. I know. Imagine the project. <laughs> no, I can't. It's crazy that we actually did that. I can't. Even, I can't remember what I thought we were going to be doing. Yeah. But no, there was a lot of preparation for that, and it was a good final event. Mm -hmm. But we had a workshop that started at 11, didn't it? Yeah, we, yeah, I think it was about 11.30 for an hour. We were supposed to get about 15 people in. And we got about maybe six or seven. <laughs> yeah, because it was really hard to find people. So we went out in our onesies with like flyers, and we were like, anyone want to do a dance workshop? And that was quite hard to get people to do that, especially when they found out that they would sort of have to take part yeah. and they realised that they'd be standing there and that they might have to perform the routine a bit as well. They were a bit like, oh no, I'm not really hot for that. Yeah, so that was quite hard. Even the people who turned up to the workshop and were like, I don't want to be involved, and when we like started dancing, they just got up and like, joined in. Yeah. So I think we had a really good atmosphere. Yeah, well, the routine's really upbeat, so I think lots of people realised that. They and all... yeah, tourists and like local people just joined in. Mm. But yeah, on the day that was quite hard. We spent like half an hour trying to gather people. And then after that, we we did the flash mob and loads of people got involved, didn't they? Yeah. We got like a big the crowd. Because was full, I don't know how many people, like over a hundred. Yeah, it was pretty much packed, like all of the grass and everything. So we had loads of people and then loads of, how many people do you say followed us in the gallery? I think there were about 30 that walked into the museum. Yeah. But not as many people like came upstairs. Yeah, a lot a which lot was a slight problem because we wanted them all to come up. Yeah, I don't I think yeah. About ten probably came into the gallery. Yeah. But about thirty or so followed us actually into the museum, which was more than we thought. Yeah, I think. And then we sat on the grass for about two hours making balloon animals and giving them to like your children. <laughs> yeah. And I think that was quite successful because we gave flyers of the Jeff Koons exhibition to their parents. Yeah, so we and they were all kind of like, oh, actually, looks really interesting. We might go and see that. Yeah, so kind of we were promoting it whilst giving yeah. balloon animals to yeah. children, which made them really happy. It was really fun. <laughs> so enjoyable. Yeah, because I was up really late, like before, like worrying, like I'm going to be like dancing in front of like hundreds of people, but it was actually so fun. Yeah, and no, it was really successful. I think it was more successful than it. Than, uh, I think it was more successful than I thought we would say it was going to be. I mean, because I had this worry that just no, everyone would just sort of be looking at us all. Like, what are you doing? Like, get involved. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are they doing in their bear suits? But everyone sort of really seemed to enjoy it. Yeah. And I think it did go really well better than I thought. Mm -hmm. And like, I was looking around while we were dancing, just everyone was like there with their cameras. <laughs> just like photographing us. Yeah. And it was boiling hot, but we still, yeah. we still rocked the bear look. What's next for me? I think um, I'll definitely carry on volunteering. Um, I volunteer with art projects anyway, various different ones, so um, I'll continue doing that. Um, also, I'd be really happy to volunteer on another project or maybe get an actual job on another project at the museum. I'd be happy to work with the museum again. It's been a lot of fun. It's been really good. Um, I'm maybe thinking about joining the Museum Collective, but obviously with going to college I can't be sure whether I can or not, but I will definitely get involved with volunteering with other things like this, and getting involved with other events, planning here at the museum, and any other exhibitions which they want young volunteers for. But I think I'd definitely get involved in more projects with art, and I'm joining Brighton Museum Collective. Yeah, I'm hoping to join the Collective, but I'm also going back to college. Um, I think the experience with blogging and meeting the journalists and stuff um, really inspired me to actually go and try and become a journalist. I'm definitely going to be keeping in touch with everyone, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'd like to keep in touch with people too and um, I'm also going to be part of the museum collective hopefully so I yeah. can sort of carry on doing work kind of here at the museum, which mm -hmm. will be Fun. And I was already part of the Museum Collective, so I now have like a greater involvement. Yeah. So I, hope, I think most of the people are joining from the Jeff Koons Collective, so I'll get to 
see them like once a month. Oh yeah, so that would be nice because we all could still get to meet and yeah. we would have done this together. <laughs> but we yeah. get, need to get Lindsay to come. <laughs> come along to our meeting. I think for me, like, um, meeting up with the group and Lindsay, it's just been really nice. Everyone's so lovely and friendly. It's been a really great experience. I've loved meeting everyone and getting to know them and working with them. Um, and I particularly liked all of the events and actually attending them and seeing our ideas come together in an event. I thought that was amazing every time, really. Um, I've really enjoyed kind of going behind the scenes, what it takes to plan the events, what it really kind of takes to put up the exhibition, how far in advance it all begins and kind of understanding from how you get from the empty room and the blank event schedule to kind of having all these fantastic events and it all up and running and it's just been overall really good fun. Yeah, it's been really interesting learning yeah. about how it all works, isn't it? Meeting all the new people, more well, meeting loads of new people, I think. Uh, yeah, I think meeting new people who kind of liked art, that was quite nice. That's, because, that's one of the main reasons I joined. Yeah, cause, because I don't really know that many people that are into art, and I've always quite liked going to galleries and like, you know, I don't know that much about art, but I do like to take an interest, yeah. so it was nice to meet other people that, you know, were interested in art and galleries and stuff like that, so I think that was quite nice. Mm. Right, okay. The things that I enjoyed the most in this project was making new friends, yeah. learning more about contemporary art and Jeff Koons. There's loads of things. <laughs> I think it was quite nice because I felt like I could just share my opinion and it wasn't as if someone was going to go, oh, but you're so wrong, and judge you're, you meant, you're meant to do it like yeah. this. Um, and if there was someone that had a different opinion, we were able to discuss it without just feeling like we were totally wrong. So we were all like one big Jeff Koons collective family. Oh.